Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the smooth sounds of the Tepid Take. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Welcome back, guys. This is episode 12, and it's probably our saddest one to date. Football didn't come home. <laughs> Not come it stayed out all night. <laughs> Got lost again. Stayed out all night. Got drunk. Yeah. Went to Italy, I hear. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's not coming home, it's, it's, it's coming to Rome, Rome, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, uh... I do hate that. That is well annoying. <laughs> Especially when it's, <laughs> it's shouted down the lens at you. How dare they play on words? <laughs> <laughs> that was ours. That was ours. So, uh, but it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So later in the podcast, we are going to be talking about Euro 2020. We're going to look at the sweepstake we did, the group of us. We also did a dream team. But before we get to that, we're going to go through some mini topics. So I'm going to go to Matt. Oh, me. <laughs> Fucking wood. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is going to be some some rage. <laughs> some rage. Rage, rage, fucking rage. <laughs> I have no I can't remember what you Yeah, neither can I. I was like, I thought it was going to be a happy time. So, so, the other day, Sniper Elite VR came out. Yes. And I, and I only realised it after two days after it came out, that it had come out. So I thought, oh, that'd be good to do for the podcast. You know, it's a, a new game and, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, so I bought it, and uh, I regret it. Um, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? This is really at the time. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I mean, this adds to the sadness. I think. Yeah. I just feel like I wasted my money on this. I could have bought something way better. So, how much oh, wow. was it? Matt? it was I mean, it was only eighteen pounds, so it's not a lot. But oh, okay. Oh well, you made that back today, at least. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Um, so. So I bought this game and I downloaded it. Uh, so Sniper Elite is it's quite an established series on Xbox. Is it on Xbox or on PlayStation? It's PlayStation as well. As well. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's now is on Switch. Is it? Is it? Yeah. I think, the... <laughs> is it on Switch? Yeah. I think the fourth one is. Of course it is. Oh, right. Okay. So I've only played Maybe. the fourth one. And I loved it. It was really, really good. It, it like It's really great gameplay. Uh, yeah. The story pretty rubbish but you know you can't expect a lot of story from a sniper elite game it's just where you shoot people in the balls so <laughs> shoot, shoot in slow in motion. Balls. so yeah yeah in slow motion. yeah with it, x-ray is this the one with the, the bullets bullet that, like you see them and it does the sort of mortal combat yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 very much yeah yeah, yeah that's you exactly really like the series at one point didn't you mark yeah i've got um version two that was on the 360 and they did a remaster i think a year or two that's ago the, hit the okay. one isn't it yeah, that's the one where you got killed the Fuhrer as uh, yeah. the DLC. You do have it again, actually, in the third one. Third one, yeah, not for me. It was it was like a full stealth game, but the moment you oh, shot the right. sniper, it wasn't suppressed. So oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, crazy. yeah. Whereas two that's was very much similar. Thing, thing, fourth one's similar in, in that you can you you have to mask your sound, so you have to shoot. As something makes a sound, basically. Ah, uh, that's awesome. That's so, a really cool concept. Yeah. yeah, it's a really good stealth game, really. I think Sam would really like it because he likes his stealth games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably would. Um, so I thought, you know, a VR version of that, that must be amazing to shoot people in the eye socket or whatever, or in the testicles, whatever you like. Um, I'm, a, I'm an eyeball man, not a ball man. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like some weird fetishes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I thought, oh, you know, I'll stick me, stick my VR headset on and play some Sniper Elite VR. So I boot it up, and um, it's just a black screen. I was like, okay, this is a good start. Oh god! So I booted. Did you have your eyes closed? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, I forgot to open my eyes. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and I reset the PC because it crashed my PC. Black screen again. Restart the PC. So I thought, this is a great start to an amazing game. But I finally yeah. got it to boot up. And then, um, you know, it's it starts with like an old man reading a book. You're like, well, oh, this is boring. <laughs> 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 I 
I remember when I shot Hitler in the testicles. <laughs> Wasn't it testicle? Testicle, testicle. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. What is happening? Singular. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I start I start playing this game in VR. And I thought, oh, this is this is gonna be great. You know, I'm gonna snipe people in VR, and it turns out it's the clunkiest shit ever. Oh, there no. are way better shooting games on PC. Uh, for starters, like if you get, if you try and put your weapon away, it, it like falls on the floor. Nice. What <laughs> the like, fuck? You try and put it on your back, and it just it just falls on the floor. And you're like, I found a, okay, one part. I have to ask. Yeah. How much is this? Just you not? No, being no, no. <laughs> this is every game yeah, now. It's not me. Yeah. Yeah. Is it no, you? the game is clunky. Um, it's only plays game a lot of clunky games, doesn't he? I play a lot of clunky <laughs> games. Yeah, clearly. Get like a disproportionate. At some point, it's not the games. <laughs> Annoyingly, this game has good reviews. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> but it's clearly not not made for me. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh um, my god. So yeah, I was walking around and I was like, "Oh, I'll get my get my sniper out from my, my backpack or whatever." You... <laughs> So you dropped it like two miles that you, way. Yeah, and I and I oh, there's something the there. I'm, I'm nothing. Yeah, I'll shoot you with my arm. Shall I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throw a fucking rock at you. Throw a fucking rock at you. Yeah. Um. So that was a good start, and the shooting is pretty abysmal as well. Oh man! Like, in a shooting game, the AI is just in a shooting game. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> what you'd want is a you know be able to shoot someone. Um. Also, the graphics are pretty awful, and they're kind of. If you're sniping someone, you need to be able to see them from far away, and they're just like. But a they've blur. always looked a bit shit. I thought. Yeah, I mean, four was okay, but it wasn't yeah. like amazing. But for VR, you kind of need it, and it looked worse yeah. than four, by far. Um, so, yeah, so I was, you know, shooting these people, and it's god awful. You know, they even do the skeleton X-ray thing when you shoot them, and it's literally like a horrible three D model of a person. Oh my it god! Looks, it looks abysmal. You're like, oh, this is just so jarring in VR. It's just not meant for yeah. VR at all. Yeah, because uh, the the like mainline games, they're third person, aren't they? So obviously, mm. this is going to be first person. So this is like, which is yeah. a big change for it, I guess. Yeah, I think when you snipe is when you snipe is in first person on sniper elite games. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. But this was just like it. If you're trying to sneak around, you just can't sneak around. Really, the AI is just like. They just like they turn around. And you're like, oh, it's like fucking Metal Gear Solid, but on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's another Metal Gear Solid reference. Footsteps. Yeah. yeah. Always, always. Um, like reference. Yeah. So oh, I just so I just raged after like an hour of playing it. I was like, this is so shit. Like the story was just non-existent. It was awful. Yeah. And like the environments, they weren't very. They didn't really cater to VR. I would, I would say, like you were trying to hide behind objects and you just get shot. Like, oh wow! I'm, I'm crouching down. What more do you want me to do? Yeah. Um, no annoyingly, problem. as well, if you crouch <laughs> down, it doesn't go into stealth mode. But if you press a button and you're stood up and you crouch, it'll go into stealth mode. Oh. So it's like I'd, I'd rather I just did it manually. I like I like games where I go manually and and crouch like actually, yeah. you know, with my knees. <laughs> IRL. IRL crowd. You know, it's more immersive. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. more immersive. But um I just I just quit the game. I was like, I'm just done. I'd do my knees in if I was doing that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I, know. Uh, I love it. I love like throwing myself on the floor, <laughs> getting behind cover. <laughs> Good <Good-oh! laughs> out Throwing your coffee table over. Again. Yeah. <laughs> in banging really my head on the do corner feel of the coffee for table. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> just I, mean, I don't, I don't <laughs> chat that in the VR game. Uh, but then I, 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 another game I bought on VR was called Pavlov VR, and I went back to that because that's like a FPS on, it's like a multiplayer FPS. Oh wow! Um, VR game, which is like amazing. It's really good fun. Yeah. Um, and that's is... like eleven pounds, so it's, it's so much better than Sniper Elite VR. Is I can't um... how bad it was. Is Sniper Elite? We are quite a new game then. Is that like a new release? Yeah, it came out like four days ago. Yeah. Oh shit! So there's it's, it's really room new. for patching then, I guess. I I hope that's the case as well. Yeah, because like they give you like a belt that you have, not not like a physical belt. It's in the game, 
um yeah like send you a belt in the mail <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'd be epic <laughs> the yeah, old yeah. belt yeah so you have to put these things on your belt so there's like points when i'm trying to get ammo out of the belt and it just wouldn't come out of the belt i was grabbing like a knife instead i'm like oh my god <laughs> not a knife that's a different game um i was just grabbing like a weapon or something out of out of my pants <laughs> 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 grabbing your weapon <laughs> grabbing my weapon uh it's just like so clunky and like i was trying to reload and i'd instead of grabbing like the lever to like get the bullet out you'd grab the weapon and you just flail around and i'm like oh my god this is just awful it's not oh playable god. at all <laughs> it was terrible i just did not enjoy it at all so hopefully they patch it would be yeah would yeah be great but it's a real shame that they really ruined it in my eyes yeah yeah, I wish they could have done more with it. Wasn't no, there? Sure. Didn't they do like a VR Medal of Honor as well? They did. I haven't played that yet because it's like fifty yeah. quid. But um, fucking hell, Christ. Yeah, I ain't paying fifty quid for a VR game. The only game <laughs> I've done that for is Half Life Alex, and that was worth it. But... Yeah, yeah, that's so, uh, a little bit special, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Medal of Honor, even Medal of Honor has not got great reviews, so it's uh, it's a no. Not worth me. it. It's okay, well, don't bother. <laughs> Talking of awful things, Sam. <laughs> What's your topic again? <laughs> um, so I was just going to talk about the uh, announcement of the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Um, so at the time of recording this, I think Nintendo Nintendo must have announced this about a week ago. Um, so there's been rumours for like ages that there's going to be like a Nintendo Switch Pro model, and you know. Again, rumors that it's going to be like the 4K Switch and it's going to have like all these magical things. Um, and Nintendo kind of came out with this model. Um, and it, you know, it's got some improvements. It's got like a seven inch OLED screen compared oh, yeah. to the 6.2, 6.2. yeah, on the original. It's a couple uh, of people. Nearly, nearly. <laughs> is, that, is that docked or undocked? <laughs> 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 <I'm not. laughs> um it's got like a wider adjustable stand that you can kind of like tilt at various angles um oh, yeah. <laughs> you can uh insert wired land support <laughs> into the dock insert your land into the dock <laughs> sounds very useful actually <laughs> yeah, i didn't think i didn't even know that wasn't a thing to be yeah i know yeah you had to buy like an, a, a usb adapter i think before um, it's got enhanced audio through new inbuilt speakers as well. Yeah, and sure it does. Sixty-four gigs of internal storage compared to thirty-two. Wow. Ooh, that woo. Is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So it, it's weird. That's like, it. That's it. I yeah, love the list of things. Wow. And it got. It's going to cost. Um, I haven't really seen like, it. It's yeah. more than the original base model when it came out, or something. Yeah, it's, it's like three hundred and fifty. Three hundred and ten. Oh. Is it around ten pound? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So three fifty dollars. Oh no, it's two fifty for the switch. Yeah, no. it's about two eighty. Yeah, you can get the original yeah. model for about two fifty, two eighty now. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just like these are all cool things, but like, I mean, I any of you guys gonna upgrade? Hell no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not even really an upgrade if you've already got one. I would say. Yeah. It's not, no. It's, it's not just... enough. If you if you haven't got one, then sure it's probably great, but yeah, they need to like, put way more on it to make yeah, it worthwhile. If you're going to be getting this new one as well, I think the Switch Lite offers quite a lot of good stuff. I mean, yeah. OLED screen, while it looks amazing, will reduce the battery life. I don't care what Nintendo's saying. It's yeah, yeah, life. bollocks. PS Vita had the OLED screen, and they moved to LCD because of the battery issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's I the mean, thing, it's been like, a while, so maybe battery technology is better, I guess. But maybe, yeah, but um, likely, but I mean, people, battery. people were like complaining about the battery life of the Switch model when that first came out, because that's like what three, four hours on like a highly yeah. intensive graphic game, which I think, like for me, that's fine. Yeah, I think that I think that's more than enough. Yeah, like, yeah. For me, for my purposes, I'd never play handheld for longer than that. Really, same. No, I, yeah, I, I even though. Yeah, it's true. I think maybe for like a kid. <laughs> maybe that's a bit shorter but yeah yeah it doesn't bother me but i think it's just like i, Let's get I think two. 
<laughs> yeah, to switch over when you run out. Yeah, switch. That's why I call it switch. <laughs> yeah, that was the original meaning, and people just misun misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just um, I I don't know if it's just like you know when rumors start going around and like you know expectations start getting ridiculous. But I think like even just like 4K upscaling or just like a yeah. better graphics card. Really, it? when it's docked in 4K. That would be fine, you know. Yeah, great. a 1080p screen or something that would be good. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. would be an upgrade. But no, they have they haven't done that. It's it's just pointless. I know. What are Nintendo doing? Honestly, they're being. They just Nintendo. seem to be. They really <laughs> seem to be just sailing along at the moment, and they're not actually trying anything new. No, no, yeah. It's interesting kind of as well. Annoying. Because um, you know, with the 3DS, they. Um, they did the new 3DS, which I think they did. Mark, you might know. They they upped the graphics on that, didn't they? Like put new yeah. graphics yeah. card in, I think. Um, and it had like dedicated games to it. But surely, if if the new Switch hasn't got an updated graphics card, it's going to need more power to operate on the same on a different screen, on a bigger screen, because exactly. it's doing a high. So it's going to be worse, if anything. Yeah, it's going to run game shitter. <laughs> <laughs> and none this of the games backstab. run heavy yeah. anyway, do they? You think we were talking about what Mario World, 3D World, and it runs at how many frames was it in dock in handheld? Sorry, it's not going to look great uh, on the screen. Wasn't it? Wasn't it more docked than it was handheld? No, it wasn't more handheld than it was docked. Um, the Bowser's Fury segment was 30 frames when handheld, but 60 when it was docked. Okay, which is yeah. weird. Like, like, yeah. I don't know what the hell is in the dock that kind of improves that, but I don't know. Yeah, I think we decided last time that there was some sort of. Oh no, there is something in the dock. The dock, yeah. yeah. I think there is. Oh okay. Like it... In theory, you like, could upscale. Yeah, we definitely, okay. definitely spoke about that. On, on the yeah, that's the thing. It's just like, why, why wouldn't you just put like the four K upscaling capability into it? Like, exactly. and you can for the extended price of a hundred dollars. <laughs> But um, it's weird to see as well that people are still like, okay, but there's probably still going to be a pro model. I'm like, I, I don't think there is. Like, not how many? Soon. Like, Jesus yeah, it's a crack on. I, I don't think so. Not for a long time. Like, how many models are they going to have? <laughs> They'll have the yeah. light. When, when was the yeah, When was the light more. announced? That was that was over a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, probably about yeah, two. Yeah, that, that was probably more like yeah. a year and a half at least. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. We had that forgotten year, yeah. didn't we? So. COVID. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. probably more like two years at this point um, I don't think you can get anything sooner than that from now no. around 2019, end of 2019 September yeah. 20th Jesus Christ yeah. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah. it's disappointing but it I'll be honest I was never going to get another one I'm happy with what I've got like, I think I'd get one if it's I, 4K I think it works well and it was like oh, better graphics. You, you like to count the pixels, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit there and <clears throat> count them myself. Yeah, uh, that that, that is forty k or four k, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, We're like gonna cost forty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> four thousand. Got my wall hanging mind on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like with the switch, like I never expect like it to be a powerhouse system, but like. I'm just no, worried. Nintendo has never done that, but you know, yeah, they, they need to. PlayStation and Xbox have been 4K for a very long time. Yeah, I think so they need to. They need to crack on with it, really. What I'm worried. They just can't do their own thing, don't they? Like, they just don't. That's, yeah, seem that's to care at what the other two are doing at all. No, which is yeah. fine. But I think you need to care with some things. I think it's. Gonna... Yeah. Okay. I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's going to be interesting to see, like, if we continue to get ports from, like, you know, big AAA games. Like, they they managed to port like the two Doom games over. But I'm like, they seem to have slowed down on that, don't they? Yeah, and that for me is like, okay, maybe. I'm sure. Obviously, they're eventually going to release a new system, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm like, how long can they wait? Yeah. Well, it's going to be another year at least now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Not... yeah. Yeah. What? I just don't know what they're doing. Thinking, do you think they'll follow it up? 
Obviously, we've got these generations now that are going to be passing. Are they going to have a no longer a switch or whatever they're going to call this next thing? This Mario. They're a bit of a weird one because anyone else would do like a Switch 2 or something, wouldn't they? But because it's Nintendo, they'll do something else that's just bonkers. Yeah, well, they kind of tried that with the Wii, didn't they? And the Wii U. Yeah. And that kind of messed them up because people were like, is that like an extension on the Wii? They could have the Wii 2, though, couldn't they? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I think the U was kind of. The U was what, what, what does that even mean? What, what was what was the U supposed to stand for? I never. No idea, to be honest. <laughs> Is U it like, it's supposed to be I mean, the what game. What the fuck pass? does Wii stand for? Wii U Connect. Wii U. One One X. <laughs> yeah. Christ. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so, anyway. So, yeah. things that. Weren't disappointing. Fingers crossed. Ready? I'm really hoping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah. So hoping. I watched uh, Black Widow, um, the new Marvel Cinematic Universe film, because we have to hit our Disney quota for this week. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, money, 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 money. Yeah. I take it none of you've got a chance to see it yet. I have. Um, I you have. have. Yeah. Sorry, in the cinema. Yeah, at the weekend. Cool. Wow. Nice. Um. So this is a film that follows, um, what the fuck is her name? Black Widow. Black Widow. <laughs> Nat- <laughs> Natasha <laughs> Romanoff. Scarlett Johansson's character. I was going to say. <laughs> Black Widow. Um, it is a prequel <laughs> to, all right, <laughs> let it out. <laughs> Did you watch the film? <laughs> no, I mean, basically, yeah. He saw Brown Tarantula <laughs> instead. <laughs> Sam, didn't you, didn't you fall asleep, Sam, when you were watching it? A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the uh, impression that you didn't enjoy it that much. Uh, I think it's what fine. Like, it? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of where I've landed. It's fine. Yeah, it's. Um, I think the main problem I have with it is that it's been released after. Um, Endgame and Infinity War. And spoiler alert right now, spoilers. She dies in those <laughs> films. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And <gasps> quite definitively. Um so you go into this knowing it's a prequel to those, but a sequel to I think it's Civil War, it's basically yeah. it follows directly on from. Yeah. Um so you know where she ends up. No the stakes just don't feel high at all. No. Um, yeah. So the whole thing is just a bit like n- unnecessary. Yeah. It. <laughs> um, it. It really feels like an afterthought. Um, Definitely. And yeah. it clearly is because of how they've made it and when they've made it. Yeah. It's kind of like something that was on the list that they were like, "Oh yeah, shit, we forgot to do our yeah. Black Widow <laughs> solo film." <laughs> And like if, it's bizarre I, they've done it then. Yeah, I think like what you're saying about it coming out after Endgame does really hurt it because like I think if it came out when it's placed uh, in the film, like you said after Civil War, I genuinely think I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah, definitely, it could have been like a I, really, I really good do think it affects the impact. And obviously, people watching these films are not going to be into it as much as we are. Yeah, and there are people who are going to watch these in years. And not even really notice that it's a later one <laughs> yeah. as such. So that can be kind of irrelevant, but it does kind of affect your enjoyment of it, I think. Yeah. Oh. I think um, what the, the highlight for me for the film was um, the Taskmaster character. I thought it was just like... Nope, disagreed. Really? Hard disagree. I, I don't like the... They did nothing with that character. I think, and I'm, all, I'm also Bat- annoyed. No, oh, no, it's not a Batman villain, is it? What's the Batman one? Definitely not. <laughs> uh, Joker. Know. It's someone similar to Taskmaster, Taskmaster isn't there? The Batman, the Riddler. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got to look this up now. <clears throat> the Riddler, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm a bit annoyed that I guessed who was under the mask because their name appears in the opening credits. I know who that person is, and they don't appear at all during the rest of the film. So when they do, oh, right. do the big unveil, I'm like, well, yeah, obviously it's that person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, I was. Um, I wouldn't say they're a big enough name for most people to do that, though. No, I didn't even know when they showed who it was. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I was disappointed where they left the character. <clears throat> um, but in terms of like scenes, why do you, why do you, yeah why did you like them? I just thought it was just how badass and threatening. Um, because I, I love I like the concept of that character. Um, so the general gist of that character is that they. Um, learn the fighting styles of whoever they have been fighting. Yeah. Um, so they just eventually get equally matched at the very least, if not better. Yeah. Um, is the general gist of it that they can learn whatever they've seen or something. Are they in Spider Man? <coughs> they're, they're in one of the games. Yeah. 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 yeah they're, they're like little missions in, in the Spider Man game, I think. Taskmaster yeah. missions. Um, and that's, Maybe it that's sounds really cool. Of. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. Um, I just don't think it was used very well at all. They kind of show them using a couple of like Captain America fighting moves, and maybe there's a few yeah, Winter Soldier yeah. ones in there. Yeah. But I don't think they utilized it enough. And it's. They're re- really relegated to like a henchman role. Um, yeah. So they're that's not in oh, right. half the film, even yeah. though I thought they were going to be like the big bad. Yeah. I think they should have had that character be the big bad but i think yeah. um i was always just most excited when that character was on screen like that was the most thrilling yeah. scenes for me i was like oh yeah this character's bad um <laughs> i really liked um florence pugh's character so she plays yes black widow's sister yeah um, great character and she i thought she was really good yeah she seemed to be setting her up quite well for future films potentially yeah um and i didn't mind um david arbor's character <laughs> yeah. he was quite funny yeah i'd like to see him return yeah he, he was very this is a marvel movie sort of <laughs> yeah thing, yeah like jokes just having it yeah 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 um yeah so I, I do think it's a good one like it's it fills time and yeah if you like the mcu films you'll probably enjoy it to an extent i don't think it's necessary at all for like the wider mythos or whatever no. Because um, it is what it is. It's an afterthought. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. problem with it, isn't it? So you wouldn't say it was worth going to the cinema for, waiting until it's on Disney Plus for free? Uh, yeah, probably, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I I always go see these films in cinema just because I, I enjoy seeing them in cinema. So yeah. if you're like that, <clears throat> yeah, obviously go watch it. But if you're debating whether to go or not, I, I'd just wait, yeah. to be honest. The TV shows are doing much better than that that was done, mm. I'd say, for building. That's another thing. It's a weird one to start phase four. A flashback one, basically. That, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really... That's Yeah, you're right. I, I didn't yeah, really think about... It. it genuinely feels like um, the whole film was a setup for the post-credits. Yeah, which, yeah. Um, I don't think we want to discuss too much. No, but that um, that is the only tie-in. Yeah, basically. So that post credit set at the present time, is it? Yeah, I don't think they really give a date on it. Um, but it's but... suggested. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and they're... the MCU is clearly <laughs> building to something that if you say the name of, would kind of spoil it, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Interesting. Nice. Yeah. I kind of want to see the film just for that, though. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, it's a cool little scene, but yeah. yeah, probably not worth the ticket price. Potentially not. I'd just look up the article. What, what's the post credit <laughs> scene oh, for Black Widow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always Even. someone in there. Okay, watch it on YouTube. <laughs> there is literally no way I can segue the Euro Fantasy Dream Team from Black Widow, so I'm not even going to try. No. <laughs> so, as many of you may know, some of you may not be into football, so you might have completely avoided TV for the last month. So, thank <laughs> you, well done. Uh, there has been the Euro 2020, although it was in 2021. Kobe kind of fucked yeah, that. That was throws me. But the merchandise has to stay, so that's why they've kept it. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so, kind of every big tournament, whether it's the World Cup, the Euros, there is always a fantasy team. You can put together. They also do one during the season as well, which I do kind of 
every year. Me and my dad always do it. It's good fun. Uh, and every big tournament, I tend to kind of get some friends together. We play it together. So I know Adson's kind of a, a big fan of Hello. doing the dream teams every time we do it. Yeah, do you want to just quickly give a kind of overview of what it is? Some people not, yeah. might not actually know. So basically you get given... 100 million, well, 100 million dollars, it's not dollars, it's euros, sorry, to spend on a 15-man club of your choice. And that's made up of three players from each nation that you choose. And then that grows as the, the tournament goes on. So in round, the round of 16, you can have four semifinals. You can have, like, six players. Uh, you basically get points for kind of a plethora of things. If they score a goal, you get sort of kind of four points for some, six for another. Uh, assists, saves, everything. Yeah. Um, I do really enjoy these. Um, so I've done, this is what, the third, fourth one we've done together, Mark? I think it's the third one. Yeah, third makes sense. Um, and it just, it helps me get more into the um, like Euros or World Cup, which is the ones I tend to do. Um and yeah, I, I, I do enjoy these. What did you guys think? Because this was kind of your first sort of taste. And I, I mean, know the three of us aren't really into football. Um, <clears throat> no, no, there is that. Yeah, yeah. There's. Uh, I always remember when filming horse racing, I would always bet on horses in the races because it would make it mm -hmm. so much more interesting. So it's kind of a similar sort of thing, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would like when I was watching some of the games with Sam and Alyssa, I would cheer the ones that I had had in my team. So it actually yeah. made me enjoy the games more than I thought it would. Cause I, it does. I'm really, it does. really not a football person. <laughs> no. Um, I, yeah, I have a passing sort of fandom. Like I support Chelsea football club, mm. but only I never watch the games unless I'm actually there. No. Um, so it's just a passing enjoyment. <clears throat> um, but having players that you can kind of, Root for in all these other games, so it's not doesn't mean you're just watching England, who at the start of the tournament we thought were pretty likely to go out fairly early. Yeah, um, definitely. It kind of keeps you more involved in those other games. Yeah, um, because otherwise, why are you watching Ukraine play Finland or whatever? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like it, you're right. Like I, in, in previous kind of like Euro tournaments, I'll only watch yeah like the Euro games and maybe um, <laughs> the England games. And maybe the final, um, yeah. but They're all the Euro games. <laughs> all the Euro games. I'm a dedicated fan. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you guys said, like I was definitely like I think I must have watched like probably ninety five percent of the games. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I did. I didn't watch that many. Yeah. No. Well, <laughs> actually, we'll, we'll get to it in the main topic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was. I think with the app, like the app is shit. Yeah, the app. Yeah, it it's not well designed. <laughs> There's a definite um, learning curve. I feel. Um, yeah, yeah. I think you need to know football to be able to pick the players that are actually going to get points. Mark. Yeah, I think I must know. I I, I think I must know more than I Bring think it. I do. Because I, do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I seem to do that, and possibly because this is also my third time doing it. Mm. Um, yeah. So I understood the silly little systems and when you're meant to change, um, like put on substitutes was a one that seemed to catch everyone out. Yeah. Changing captains as well. Um, mm. I know that caused a few. I only picked it up like after a, a couple of rounds, I think. Yeah. I think like, changing yeah. subs and making different captains. Yeah. Like, I sort of tactically, tactically play players like they were playing at an earlier date first just to. Yeah, yeah. See they which is the way, did, which is the way the you should do it. Yeah, yeah. Designed to do it. But yeah, yeah. But it doesn't suggest I don't think that. If you, yeah, yeah, if you don't know that, you 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 just don't let it go. pick up on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So One thing that um, threw me. Sorry, go on, Mark. Well, it's just the app was a little bit different this year. Normally, there's kind of you pick your team, you pick your captain, and it sticks. That's it for the game week. Whereas this time it was kind of oh, right, okay. rotating. Uh... You could change substitutes every day. You could change <laughs> captains every day, and that was similar to the. Champions League one because I think if you go on there today it will say Champions League will be back in a couple months time so you can kind of hop back on oh, and right, okay. play that if you want to um, right. so that that's the difference yeah. from usual normally when Bats and I have played it it's been less rotation it's more kind of pick and stick 
Yeah, because uh, it definitely felt a bit more, uh, I guess, tactical is the best word in who you were playing when. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the definitely. remembering each evening to like go, oh, uh, who has played bad so I can switch them out and put someone who hasn't played on yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, One thing that really threw me with the app, <laughs> which like caused many mistakes on my side, <laughs> one of uh, one of a hundred, um, was how it's broken down into like match day one, match day two. But I was like, oh, okay, first For day. match yeah, day yeah. is yeah. done. Yeah. I day can make one, my subs yeah. now. But match day one is like all the first set of games. Week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, games. yeah. The it's naming convention is stupid. <laughs> it's yeah. It's not great. Um, yeah. Because yeah, the, the first three were like match day one, match day two, match day three. Yeah, like match which set I think something. everything yeah. else called the group stages, but didn't they? Yeah. yeah so I'd yeah. put a text into the group chat and say it's game week one as opposed to match yeah. day one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah calling, calling it weeks was easier because even though it wasn't even a week, it's just, it definitely wasn't a day either. And no, it was no, closer no. to a week than a day. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so we kind of played, what was it? So it was 10 of us, all in all. It was a mixture of kind of friends and partners, and my dad as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I ended up winning it. <laughs> Whee! Right, oh, some, home. some no. may say he hustled us. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the guy who's in the football won it. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shockingly, what, what, his what? dad came second. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, oh. yeah. And Addison came third. So the heist I did, I was did. pulled off. We managed <laughs> to take money from me. everyone. <laughs> you it? I am so glad that I stopped yeah. Catelyn from coming third. I don't even feel bad. Yeah, because that would have been a, a triple threat. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Because you're yeah. engaged at one point, you would have been the three fucking lions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, that would be weird. <laughs> that would have been coming home. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, that sounded filthy. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, yeah. I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> um, yeah, it's that... coming home. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, Matt. <laughs> what was it last week? Fucking... He said some filth last week. <laughs> This yes. is really annoying because we can't now call this a matism because that's liking a shit film and proclaiming it's the best thing ever. <laughs> so we need a new name for this new matism thing he's got going on. This is more when I'm drunk, to be fair. It's a twatism. I'll take that. I'll accept that. Twatidism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think we've probably gained maybe one or two people that might want to play it for the World Cup. I don't know if you guys would play it again. again. Yeah, Sam wouldn't ever play it again, I don't think. But... I don't know, maybe when it comes round, I'll be like, Fuck Yeah, it. you got yeah. two, well, uh, one year, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, normally it would be two years, but you got a year to kind of forget that. <laughs> <Going troubles. laughs> yeah. You got to reset. And go, Oh, yeah, that was quite right? good, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, could, I love that. Yeah. We could oh, also do... coming eight, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. We could do a separate league as well, because you can have multiple leagues on the go. You could have the one that we do for us. The shit league. (laughs) You actually could. We could have a tepid take one. We could have people, if they want to join us. I'd be be, be up for that. Oh, that'd be amazing. And Mark could win that as well, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Give me all your money. Thank you. We'll fund the podcast. We'll keep the the lights on. We can get that going. (laughs) Not that it costs anything. We could uh, have like <laughs> yeah. a friendly competition um, with other podcasts as well. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, I know. I know for a fact that I'll play the next one just because I do enjoy it. Um, mm. and it'd be great to see. You I guys think I would again. as well. I'd yeah. like to see because I know the I know how it works now, so I think I could play better. <laughs> yeah, it'll come back quickly because every time I look yeah. at it, I'm like, "Fuck, what am I doing?" Yeah, and then you kind of go, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." Yeah, yeah. it's it's always the players that um because they do like, obviously they do change a bit between and i kind of because i don't follow football really um i'm always like wait who the fuck is good i, d- I just don't know i know I and was... then mark's got the advantage and he's like oh yep that guy that guy whatever you do guys just make sure you don't share your team with addison before the first game oh you were such a little snake <laughs> i did not do what you were about to say i did <laughs> it's just he changed yeah, his team and con- conveniently Two defenders of mine crept into his team, and they Spinozola <laughs> did fantastically me, did well it, as well. There was a point um, where I was like, I'm just, "I might just start picking who Mark's picking, <laughs> just like even, even my odds a bit." 
I was tempted um, yeah. to start sending dud teams to you. <laughs> I think you did at one point, didn't you? Yeah, that would be. A good oh one. yeah, pick him. He's definitely playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was like even um, like even though I was like kind of bouncing between eighth and ninth. <laughs> There was a point in the game, I think... Out of 10. Out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there was a point where, like, towards the end, I was like, okay, I'm not going to come first, or, or the top three. But it was kind of fun just to be like, well, maybe I could, like... Like, me and my wife were, like, neck and neck at one point. Yeah. And I was like, come on! <laughs> I had the worst fucking run of luck, because I started... The, we ended the first, like, game day, and I was top. Um, to the point where I was 700th in Scotland. Oh, oh. Um, and then the next day, immediately fell to last at the bottom of our league and stayed there for a long fucking time <laughs> and then slowly worked my way back oh up. Oh, my God. It's a good place to be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I was anywhere near that in, in England. You and you and uh, Billy were fighting for that like, middle spot. Yeah, annoyingly, she beat me at the end. Uh, yeah. She beat me at the last game. It was nine um, points, in it, wasn't it, in the end? Between you two? Yeah, it's not much. Yeah, yeah. It was a good little battle for a while because we were like yeah. swapping all the time. But, oh, yeah. Um, I finished I 130 so points. Fine. 130 <laughs> points out of Sam in the end. <laughs> Ridiculous. Hustled. Hustled. <laughs> yeah. You didn't win as much between first and second as I thought you would, to be fair. I thought it was no. like 100 points and it wasn't that, that much. I definitely prefer. I do quite like the relax, relax. I can't say the word. <laughs> Relaxation factor of like the sweep He's steak. Piss. I'm fucking <laughs> winning. The sweep steak was yeah a lot uh, more luck based. Should we move on? I guess. Yeah, that's a good or, yeah. kind of point to move yeah. on to. Is yeah, the sweep yeah. steak. So uh, adjacent to the Dream League, we also had the ten of us having the sweep steak. Some of us had three teams. Some of us two, and one of us in the Tepe take did have the winning team Italy. Uh, that is uh, me. I want something traitor. for a change. Oh, I didn't oh. pick the team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt so it's confident random. with Germany. <laughs> I know, and he lost. I yeah. did not feel confident with the three teams I had. Who did you have again? Three. I had uh, Finland, Czech Republic, and Croatia. Croatia. Yeah, Czech you. Republic did. They were the best. Uh, they they did way better than I thought. And yeah. To yeah. be fair, the other two teams were better players than I thought. But yeah, my other team was. North I Macedonia. knew they were never going to win. Really. <laughs> what was yeah, that? My other team was North Macedonia, so I don't think that was going to. Oh yeah, you that can't. That's never going to do well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that balances out pretty well. Yeah. Who was my other team? Slovakia. Yeah, I think it was. Wasn't it? Was, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Germany. Yeah, I was. I was completely <laughs> focused on Germany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me. I'm like, I know I had Denmark, but I can't remember the other two. <laughs> I think you just like you think. Can't okay, remember. what's my best team? You just kind of like lock down on them. You go yeah. on that one, yeah. You yeah. go all in, yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, well, it worked for me. So, what can <laughs> <Yes>. I say? <laughs> Give me the yeah, money. So, um, <laughs> sweepstakes. Um, I I always enjoy doing these as well, just because, again, it's making you watch games that you don't necessarily going to watch in the other in any other reason yeah yeah um, <clears throat> although I, I would say especially with the final because it was italy and england yeah i definitely wasn't rooting for italy when i was watching it because we, you know, yeah yeah england's a home team i didn't care if italy won or not really yeah I didn't, yeah I but that, say england hadn't that got that far it. say it had yeah. been oh, italy, well Germany, yeah I, then i been... would be i would have been yeah for italy yeah definitely but um and Sam would have been for Germany, but yeah. yeah. So it's it's nice having that little sort of extra layer. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's um, I was never cheering for North Macedonia because I knew that would never come about. But no, <laughs> no one ever expected them. No one, no one expects the, the North, North Macedonian <laughs> Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, I think it's a good segue. So we'll talk about the. Euro tournament as a whole. Yeah. We'll kind of, I'll do like a, a little brief history. So this is the 16th. Can I just say, you said about a brief history. Yeah. We were watching the game last night for about two hours before the game actually happened. And there were so many VTs. We thought there'd be like VTs about, oh, this is the leather they use on the foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is 
<laughs> the history of, of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What you said, just milk, think of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's like, it's anyway, the history, history of, of the grass. The... This is a history of the hairdressers that they use. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to pick out kind of some of the quirky things that have happened over the years. Some yeah. of them are just like fairly boring, to be fair. Uh, so kind of the first pan-European tournament was proposed by the French Football Federation, and it was uh, Henri uh, Delaunay, and that's what the, the Cup's called. Oh, right. It wasn't until he died that they actually put it together. And at the time, it was 17 teams that entered, and four made the finals. And the first one was held in France in 1960. That ended with the Soviet Union beating Yugoslavia 2-1. Wow. And what you'll start hearing here as well is a lot of the times I'm saying Yugoslavia, Soviet Union. Like, it's mental. They, that really? Had... It's just like the, the so weird, the historic yeah. rivalry of... Absolutely crazy. I think it's because you think like Croatia, Czech Republic, like all these countries yeah. used to be Yugoslavia. Yeah. Yeah, course, yeah. yeah. So Take then they've taken all them players now and they've split them out across the countries. Oh my god! Yeah, and then Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in 1960, it was known as the Nations Cup, um, and it would be known as that still when Spain won it in 1964, and they beat the Soviet Union. Surprise! We got the Soviet <laughs> Union again. They beat them two-one. Um, in 1968, it became the European Championship for the first time. Italy hosted and won it. That was their first time. Obviously, the second time was. Yesterday, as the time of recording. <laughs> um, guess who they beat? Soviet Union. Yugoslavia. Yeah. They beat Soviet Union. <laughs> one of the other. <laughs> it was going to be one my, of them. I lost my confidence yeah. when I <laughs> said my first answer very quickly there. Um, so, hold on. So, at one point, Soviet Union were just a fucking badass football team. They were killing it, like, across the board. I mean, literally, they were killing it. But... <laughs> Yeah, they were also... literally <laughs> killing their opponents. Yeah. <laughs> the ho hockey team was like smashing it. The football teams, everything. Because they're yeah, Soviet Union. Yeah, they were the Olympics was just yeah, kind of every challenge. time. Yeah, fucking hell! I just just never heard of like the Soviet Union football legends. Because they were a union. They were. They yeah. Were, the teamwork was. Yeah, so good. Communism. <laughs> Communism. <laughs> Karl Marx. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, in 1968, it became the European Championship for the first time. That's what it's obviously called now. Yeah. Um, Before, let's get let's get the Soviet Union out of it. <laughs> well, I think I have I said the wrong bit. So this is where this is the tournament where Italy played the Soviet Union in the semi-finals. It went to a draw, Ooh. and they both captains went to the changing rooms afterwards, and they had to toss a coin to find out who would go into the final. So, <laughs> oh my god! Did they not do? This was like after. Penalties and everything. No, yeah. there was no such thing as extra time penalties at the time. It was the game finished. Oh know. right. They both went to the changing and rooms. Flipped the coin. And they flipped a coin. Uh, Italy called heads. I think they should bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> Italy called heads, and they went into the final, uh, where they drew one-one. And at that time, they used to do uh, like a final replay. Okay. Yeah. So then they beat Yugoslavia 2-1 in the replay of the final. Right, okay. Did they do a replay? Like the whole match? Yeah, they would do replays of the like this is before oh there was the, the extra time and the, oh, the penalties right. and everything else. Um, Play another game. That's ridiculous. <laughs> 1972, you've got West Germany making their first appearance. Um, absolutely incredible team. They went on to be. Kind of took yeah. over the the torch for the Soviet Union Yugoslavia teams. <laughs> um, so was there an East, East Germany in in the Euros as well, or not? No, the, the East Germans yeah. didn't compete. Ah, okay. Imagine they were part of the Soviet Union. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be classified yeah. as that, wouldn't they? 
Uh, and yeah. the West Germans beat Soviet Union 3 0 in the final. Sure. And then we've got 1976. And then the Berlin Wall came down. No. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so. This one you might not know about, being not too much into football. So, uh, 1976. Going to be honest, I don't know about any of them. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. Everything you said so far is new information for me. Like, Whoa. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, the coin toss was a big one for the Euros, and then this is another big one for the Euros as well. So, the uh, Czechoslovakia played the Soviet Union in the <clears> final. <throat> Soviet I know. Union. <laughs> this is just um, magic, um, What the fuck? now. They were well, they were all tied up, and then the last penalty was to be taken by Antonin Panenka for Czechoslovakia. Uh, what he did is he kind of walks up slowly and he does like a little chip down the middle of the goal. And ever since then, that move's been called the Panenka. It's become so <laughs> awesome. famous off the back of it. Wow. Um, That's pretty cool. Then it starts... It's more going downhill for us. Like So, 1980, for the first time, you've got the European Championship has gone from four teams to eight, so it's doubled in size. Yeah. Took place in Italy, and West Germany won their second title, beating Belgium 2-1 in the final. But this is the time where Did English... Did you say there was only four teams in it? There was only four teams up until 1980. What's the point? Oh, wow. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that was it's strange. It was the fact that it's eight yeah. in 1980, and it like, then keeps going until you get to 24 that it was in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah. That makes so, more sense to have a tournament. Not yeah, it four. would. Four seems really <laughs> yeah. strange, isn't it? It's like I'll oh, just get together, yeah. guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got a semi-final and a final. That's all you've got. You could do that yeah. in like three days. <laughs> yeah, I think it was easy. over like a five-day window, and that was it. All done. Yeah. Oh my god. That's with like days out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was where uh, English hooliganism really big problem. Like, oh, I'm surprised. Still is. <laughs> yeah. Still is. Hundreds of Italians, hundreds of Italians and English fought on the streets of Turin, and this wasn't oh even God. during an Italy game. This was during England versus Belgium. Sorry, were we talking about yesterday? <laughs> oh. yeah. It very easily could yeah. have been yesterday. If if COVID wasn't happening, it would have been yesterday. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Damn shame. So, so West. Sorry, you said it, w- it wasn't even during like a uh, an England Italy game. They just. It was England versus England Belgium, decided, and they decided they wanted to kick off tussle. in Turin. As you do. Is that even on the way? That's not even on the way, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I've been to Belgium. I've driven to Belgium. No. <laughs> no. I'm just no, answered. it leaves on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check a map for that? No, I've been. I've okay. driven to Belgium. <laughs> I thought you were looking at a map to check that. No, no, no. <laughs> should we should, should, we you, won't tell you... Matt that it took place in Italy. The tournaments in Italy. Oh, what? I thought it was in Belgium. <laughs> oh, no, it was against, oh, it was against. It was against Belgium. I see. It was against Belgium in Italy because Italy were hosting. Ah. Uh, okay. And, I thought it was in Belgium. So and our fans know. are being baddies. Continue. We're the bad boys. Always. Wait, uh, then we got 1984. <laughs> so France win against uh, Spain, beating them two 0 and this was the first time you had two teams from the group stage made it into the semi-finals. Before it used to be the top two made the final, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. okay, we should move on. We'll move on to 1988. Uh, West, <laughs> West Germany were hosting, and this time we had Holland, as we call it, Ooh. obviously, as the Netherlands. Oh, okay. uh, they won against yeah. Soviet Union. Surprise, Soviet Union are in again. Well done, guys. Um, fucking champs, man. And this, <laughs> it's mental. Yeah. this was the last time we would have seen the Soviets as well, prior to their disbanding. Right. And also, I'm going to say this now. Uh, we've got some Dutch listeners. Sorry, guys. I know this is going to be painful what I'm about to say. This is the first and last time the Netherlands have won anything. We know what it's like. We're English fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We feel you. We feel you. Yeah. <laughs> have, we, have we ever won a Euros? No. Just no. one? No, none. We've just won okay. a World Cup. Could have won last night. I know. I know. We could have won last we were night. So close. Uh, Come back 1992 <laughs> is kind of the craziest one of all of them. So Denmark oh, ended yeah. up winning 1992. They weren't even in it to start with. So 
Originally, when, it was meant when to be. Sam was born. <laughs> <laughs> I influenced that. <laughs> so I celebrate that. <laughs> Yugoslavia obviously collapsed, and the team that was kind of the runner-up to take their place was Denmark. And what's kind of the really strange on the goalkeeper for Denmark is the current Denmark goalkeeper's dad. So, I thought you were going to say the current goalkeeper. Yeah. I was like, Jesus <laughs> like, Christ, how old is he? Well, yeah, he's like, just kept that's going. Cool, though. Yeah. Like <laughs> Peter and Cash was like a walking stick in the. <laughs> yeah. he, he had some choice words about our last Fucking game. Fucking walking stick, he's like 50. <laughs> Did he? That, it's all that time. <laughs> <laughs> Done his hip in. <laughs> What's really weird about this tournament as well is this is the this would have been the first time obviously we'd have a unified Germany, but it's just the first time names were printed on the back of shirts. Oh, that really? That's God, yeah. It sounds really That's weird. It's like such a thing now, isn't it? I yeah. know, yeah. It really is. So when like did Sam Sam asked last night what uh, what number someone was and it was on the front of their shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Do I? I can't remember that. You said who? Who's number seven or whatever it was, and it was, it was literally a shot of him. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that did happen. Um, when so when did the extra time penalty thing come in? Is that like nowish? It's going to be or yeah, it's pretty strange. So the <laughs> the next two Euros, they introduced something that you guys probably wouldn't be aware of, not watching football too much. So ninety six was the English we hosted the tournament. We lost surprise on penalties to Germany. We won't talk about it. It hurts. Um, <laughs> cool. and we, we never learn, do we? Never <laughs> we learn. Germany made the final. They played the Czechs at the time. And this was the first time there was the use of golden goal. Yeah. Um, I know so golden goal used to be you score an extra time, that's it. Game yeah. over. Done. That should still oh, right, be a so thing. The first person who's yeah, scored. I can't yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Quite in like, a cool games. rule. Yeah, yeah, I thought I imagined that because, like, there was like years when I thought <laughs> I that thought was still the rule. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's been like games where someone oh, scores an extra time. I'm like, oh, the game's over now, right? And then it's like, oh no, it keeps going. Yeah, yeah. Keeps going. And I was like, I was like, was that just like a game mode in FIFA or something? Yeah, it, yeah, it, definitely, it definitely was, was at FIFA. one point. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was in FIFA. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that being in FIFA. <laughs> FIFA 04. <laughs> FIFA 04. It's probably the last one I played. <laughs> we, we were saying, uh, actually. Say before the game. Oh yeah, keep. <laughs> All right, spoilers. <laughs> yeah. I'll so then you, you had, <laughs> you, had <laughs> you had two thousand, year two thousand, and that was another golden goal what that won the tournament. Two thousand. Yeah. So Should, what a year! What, oh, what a year. year! I say what year? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Italy actually, Italy were winning one nil up until the ninety fourth minute against France. France got a very late goal, went to extra oh, time, shit. and then they got France got the uh, the golden goal, won the tournament. <laughs> that's a kick in the face. I love that. I think that's amazing. I that is an amazing yeah. turnaround. I will say yeah. that. It must have been amazing to watch. Bring back the golden goal. Hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to like baffle Hashtag your mind as well because the 2004 there's a thing called a silver goal. Oh fucking hell. Yeah, I can I see know. you all go, what the what fuck is it like? Exactly. Even me today, I was like, what, what? what's the silver goal? <laughs> is, that like, is that like a silver fox? <laughs> so. <laughs> what? That's just like something else with silver in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 2004, hosted in Portugal. This is kind of the biggest shock of international football. Greece went on to win this. Yeah, what the hell happened yeah, yeah. in this right. tournament? I need like I need the details. Oh, you were saying this last night, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were saying right. you had to ask Mark. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Mark on the podcast. What, like, what happened? Why? How did Greece win? I remember I, this. This, this is the one I like remember most. But I, I don't, don't understand why. how they did it. No one still does. It was just kind of like they managed to get these loose wins like, out yeah. of nowhere, and then who did they who did they play in the final? Portugal in Portugal. Fucking oh, hell. Right. That is oh, shit. That's, that's mental. That Maybe. is yeah. they beat crazy. France on the way there. So this when I was saying Jeez. about the the silver goal, so uh Greece played oh, Czech Republic yeah. in the semi-finals. It was um equal 
went into extra time and it was two seconds before the end of the first half of extra time, Greece scores from a corner. And because the rule in silver goal is as long as you score in that half of extra time, yeah. you win. So they won, made it through to the final. So if you score in the second half, it's a golden goal. So if you scored, yeah, it's, it kind of you play the whole half, and whoever's won that half <clears throat> wins essentially. So if you if someone in that first half of extra time scored two, and the other one scored one, the person that scored two yeah. wins. Okay, Matthew Mark, well done. Math. Math. But it's Math. not the first person Math. to score who wins, is what you're saying. No. Yeah, right. the golden goal is just whoever scores, that's it. Game over. Okay. Silver goal, it, you can keep scoring until you get to the half time and whoever's yeah. got the most. Okay. Oh, I see. If you're okay. still equal, it would be what extra time is currently. I don't mind that rule yeah. either. But... That's not too yeah. bad. I don't mind these rules. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to them being in. Like, not what that my dictates... fucking opinion matters. What dictates it being a silver goal or a golden goal? I think we just <laughs> described that. So listen back when we release right. it because we have just gone through that. It's so confusing. So they just got rid of the golden goal. Okay. They've got yeah, got rid of both of them. They scrapped them in the early noughties. Mm. It's kind of a shame, really. Yeah, I, I don't. I... Could I, did they There's... have the bronze goal at some point? Sadly, no. Because 120 yeah. minutes or whatever it ends up being is a fucking long time to watch. So having yeah. it's a long time goal. to play football. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Whole time. Jesus Christ! Oh my yeah. God. Why don't you use your subs then? <laughs> no, <laughs> England. <Yeah. laughs> England. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, oh my god, every time a game got to extra time. I think that's like the, wor yeah, the worst it, stage. Yeah. When you knew it had extra time and potentially penalties, yeah. that had added on like another good 40 minutes at least. Yeah, yeah, it's like a whole... If not more. Another half of a, of a, of a game, really, isn't it? It's yeah. Mental. It is, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's a lot of time to be running around the field. Yeah. And then we've got 2008. This one I don't really pay attention to because England weren't in it. Kind of embarrassingly got knocked out by uh, the Czech Republic going into the qualifiers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Uh, so this one, Spain won, beating Germany 1-0. And this kind of started their big dominance they had because they went and won the World Cup two years later. And then oh, in right. 2012, they won it again. They're the first ever yeah. team to retain the title. First and only, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Pretty cool. And they beat Italy 4 0 in the final. What that's, we could that's, done. that's a proper spanking. Yeah. yeah. Spanish spanking. <laughs> you like that, yeah. <laughs> but Matt can get away with whatever the fuck he says. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've now got 2016. It was in France, and it'd been the first time it's gone from 16 to 24 teams. This is, guys, why I got really confused with the sweepstake, and I said there's a third place team. <laughs> changing all the time. Next <laughs> next time it'll be fucking thirty lot. I don't know. Um. So Hustle. Hustle. this one, France make the final. You think they're going to win it on home soil? Everyone's just saying, yeah, France have got this in the bag. They've had a great tournament. Out of nowhere, you've got Portugal. Extra time, Edair scores the winner. Yeah. So I remember this one because I think this is the first one we played the um fantasy app with yeah um and portugal just kept fucking me over man every <laughs> time if i had their players they paid shit if i didn't have their players they were the best fucking team on the pitch especially that <laughs> bloody hat trick scoring prick <laughs> mr ronaldo Yes, Mr. Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Ronaldo. And he, he the thing is Adson didn't player. learn. He he didn't learn when we got to the World Cup, Ronaldo went and scored a hat trick against Spain. Who didn't have him? <laughs> he is dead to me. I do not pick him. He got some points this time around as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I never times. picked it. I didn't pick him once again. I think I picked him a couple of times. He, like he finished the tournament as Golden Boot as well. Most goals. Did he? This oh, really? Uh, oh, wow. That's pretty of course good. course he did. <laughs> yeah. Still, cool. You still built me. Beat me though, so, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. We we very nearly, very nearly had um, a win in Euros and Eurovision for this year. So we had 2016 Portugal win it, and it was 2017 they won the Eurovision. So we, up until then, we'd never had both the country yeah playing the football and obviously the Eurovision guys winning it as well. But mm -hmm. we get to 2020, 
Obviously, some of you may know, some may not know. Italy won it last night. They all As on the Eurovision. Yeah. The Eurovision. You go. Yeah, it was. Good year for Italy. <laughs> <laughs> this should be their new national anthem. Like. This should be their national anthem. This should be amazing as the national anthem. Can you imagine it? They'd be rocking out. I would, I, would, I would support them if this is their national yeah. anthem. <laughs> yeah. Long. What is what is in the water in Italy this year? That's fucking. They're just fucking winning everything. Yeah, just doing really well. They didn't win this. They didn't win the tennis though. Aha! Yeah. Imagine if they had. Oh. They were in the final, but they didn't win the tennis. Who, who did win the tennis? I have interest. Djokovic. Djokovic. And he's from Serbia. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. It's I like, good for them. Good for Serbia. <laughs> Serbia, smashing it. Serbia, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this was a good. This was like this a really weird tournament, I feel. Because like, yeah. the first few matches with, it, with England, I was like, oh, yeah, we've lost. They were it. a bit ropey, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Despite not conceding goals, but there was no like outstanding. No, it was very battle. bland. I found. Mm. Yeah, and they weren't like we weren't facing any amazing teams really. No, and I was confident no. Germany were going to knock them out. Um, so that mm. was a great surprise, despite the being my sweet yeah. sake. <laughs> that, was, that was a good. That was a good game <laughs> to uh, watch. Yeah, that kind of like that's when things started to ramp up a bit, and it was like, oh fuck. Yeah. It weirdly might enough, be I, found the, <laughs> yeah. I found the next game, which was. Netherlands? Uh, I Czech, was, right? Czech Republic? Yeah, Czech Republic versus Netherlands, which is the, the shock. No, 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 sorry. Uh, England. Uh, I swear there was one before. The game Denmark. after Germany. Oh, yeah, Ukraine. Oh, uh, yes. That's it, Ukraine. Um, I found that more tense, um, somehow. Yeah, yeah. Because it would have been very typical for us to go out then. And I'd think the score was a lot more even for the rest of the game so yeah that there was a more more tense atmosphere i feel i know but yeah the, the german game was it was a fun right. watch yeah I, yeah i think i was the same as you because i was like I, I just know us we will go out when we think we're gonna like smash it <laughs> yeah when yeah, we should smash arrogant. it that's when we'll go out yeah 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 100 percent. it yeah. just seems to be what we do yeah, there was like it was a crazy tournament. There was so like obviously there was the whole um, drama with speaking of Denmark's first game. Yeah, and Eric's that's crazy. In. I feel really bad because um, Matt hadn't watched a single game yet. Oh, yeah. That was his first Matt. one. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah same with Billy. Yeah, so yeah. Watched any. Literally, like, we tuned the, in like five minutes beforehand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it Matt was, was like, "What? Like, oh, watch? this is." This is some snuff film. What the... It was <laughs> watching me watch. horrible. To watch. It was. Oh, it's horrible. I don't know oh. why they played so much of it. They should have cut to the studio way sooner. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, BBC kept trying to blame it on the, um, the oh yeah, the stadium Steve camera guys, yeah. but they could have cut yeah. away. Yeah, well, they? yeah, they're just showing what they show. But you know, you could yeah. just cut to the studio easily. Yeah, yeah. Especially You're very control the studio. Yeah, it was a there was a pitch invade last night, running around top yeah. bits. Oh yeah, yeah, and they managed to get away from that, didn't, didn't they? Didn't see any of it. Yeah. 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 yeah it was, what what it an was... amazing job the the doctors on site did there. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it was good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. It was looking like I, I honestly, it looked like he was going to die. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was didn't horrible. look very promising at all. So I'm. I'm yeah. No, it was. I'm just... very glad that that's the case because it would have been even more traumatic to watch than than it already was. Yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty horrific. And the he amazing... seems to be doing well now, which is. Which is really yeah, good that, to hear. That is really good. Yeah. Yeah. It feels it's like awful. that. That um, after that, it kind of like drove Denmark in this tournament. I feel. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think they did, they they did well, really well, they? didn't they? Mm. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. What they did the rest of the tournament. Obviously, that Finland game they had to play kind of a couple of hours after, didn't they? I think that was terrible. I'm surprised they did it that soon after. That's like yeah. Give them a know. day's break at least. Yeah. It was it like sounded like they wanted to do it. Yeah. It's it, it's been so many so many teams. As well in this one, who I was expecting to do like really well, like I feel like France, front, yeah, France, <laughs> basically, and Mbappe. It just I don't know. Did he get a goal in this tournament? I think he. I did. think I had him on my team the whole time, and he, he didn't give me many points. I don't think. Yeah, I put him he so early on. It was a real surprise. I think a lot of the people you thought were going to turn up, you thought Portugal were going to do big. You thought. Yeah, oh, they do amazing, and before you know it, they're all out. Yeah, yeah. I know. 
They all went out. One Which one. is quite nice, a nice, like, refreshing change as well to have, like, the kind of underdog teams kind of step up and actually, like, get really far in the tournament. Is Italy an underdog team? <laughs> the, no, I, know, I mean, the... like, <laughs> Ukraine and... That Italian yeah, team, they didn't, qualif- they didn't qualify for the World Cup. They they had an awful Toro time. They didn't make it into the 2018 World Cup. And then they oh, spent wow. the next 32 wow. games going unbeaten. Absolutely insane. Yeah. <laughs> so, it? It's weird. Yeah. What the hell happened? Yeah. <laughs> Got to give them a boost. Yeah. And it's like the suave, the suave Emporio Armani suits that they wore. Like the, <laughs> the shirts, even just the shirts were cool. The way they played football, it kind of, for me as a real football fan, it was like, oh, this is just beautiful to watch. I think they deserved to go on and win the whole tournament the way they were playing. They were the yeah. strongest. Yeah. From, from their first game, I thought they were going to win it. Um, even before we were... And that's why I picked really. them in the sweepstakes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that rigged it. <laughs> yeah. They they did just look so strong, and the fact that they also weren't conceding for a long time um, just kind of reinforced that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's interesting in the final though that I generally think we played like a really strong first half against them. Um, I did. Yeah. When we when like, we got a goal in like two minutes, that was like oh my I, God. I pretty much missed it. I like <laughs> yeah. just saw it. I was looking yeah. at my phone. I was like, "Oh, nothing will happen in the first two minutes." I was just settling in, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, chilling out. And then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, every, everyone was like, just started yelling." Jesus Christ! Yeah. But we we um had, yeah. there was some criticism. That's what we were doing, wasn't it? Getting a goal early, hanging back, and then coasting for the whole game. Yeah, because it is... was a it was a tactic that kept happening. But we should have pushed. We should have kept pushing. And oh god, yeah, know, yeah, kept the pressure on, not just. I think it was in um, the Denmark game, which was the one before Italy. Mm. Um, the commenters, commentators pointed out that when they do that and then swap out someone on the midfield for like a defender or something yeah. to like stop them conceding, that naturally means everyone drops back. So they're just in our half the whole time. Oh, and yeah. I thought that was a really yeah. good point. And knowing yeah. that, you could see it in this game. Well, yeah, uh, definitely. The second half, they were like yeah. on our, they were on our side the whole game yeah, the yeah. whole half yeah it was ridiculous how much possession they had like 71 percent didn't they yeah yeah, like, yeah. It's ridiculous yeah it was like what's going on <laughs> yeah. all, all, so really. dangerous yeah. yeah there were so many times they almost scored a goal oh it's so scary pickford Pick- is pickford underrated is a, man. pickford is a like, fucking champion jesus christ every, he like, literally was like save I, save <laughs> save <laughs> It was ridiculous. Throughout the tournament, and this happened last time he was playing as well yeah. in um, the World Cup, mm. yeah. everyone just seems to completely egg on him, and I have no idea why. Yeah. I've, I've always thought he's really he's good. so good. Um, he's so Marley. good. Watching yeah, Mark, do you have an explanation for this? Because for me and Billy, it was like absolutely baffling. You would hear yeah. the commentators talk about him, you're like, he's doing so fucking well. He's so amazing. He plays for Everton, and he's well known for being kind of a bit sketchy, lit stuff in because you can kind of see it creep in a little bit in some of these games for England. Be a few right. times de- there definitely does seem to be a bit wavy um, in the latter half of games. Yeah, he's yeah. not. I wouldn't say he's top tier goalkeeper for his club, but for England, we put that England shot on, he turns into bloody Superman. He's like the Beast. fucking Hulk. Yeah, yeah. I love how much he's like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, they always unpleasant. cut to him when he's just fucking going mental at someone. Yeah, his face is just like. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't you know what you're saying. I just think that's like a passion thing. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's playing yeah. for his country. That's yeah. pretty important, I guess, for him, um, as it would be for anyone. Yeah. I yeah. think that's what's different now than usual. Is these lads are putting on that shirt, and it means so much more to them. I think there's less yeah, of a disconnect. Yeah, it does seem to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I mean, we gave it a good go. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was good. It was a good game to watch. Um, yeah, it really was. Yeah. I will say, as as someone who doesn't like football normally, that game was really, really enjoyable to watch, and it was very, yeah, yeah. It was very good to watch England. You know, try their best and try and win. But yeah, you know, unfortunately, we didn't. It yeah, would have been so good if we did, but we just—I think we made too many mistakes, unfortunately. Yeah, and it's—it's yeah. it's unfortunate that even we 
three who don't really pay attention can kind of see what we perceive to be mistakes and kind of go, yeah. well, why are they doing that? Yeah, um, yeah. The late substitutions yeah, that seem to make no logical doing, sense. Yeah. yeah. Mark, um, question for you as like more of a football guy. <laughs> Do you think, like, in this last match, Harry Kane played quite poorly, despite, like, kind of setting up the goal in the, this in, match. early on? I think it's, <laughs> yeah. a of, it's a hard one. I think, without getting too much into it, his position what he's doing is dropping off and if we're quite defensive there's no one to play that ball to him yeah so as, right as much as he's a fantastic striker that can pull a goal out of nowhere if no one's yeah. passing in the ball he can't really do much i think yeah. that's, that's the problem with how southgate's it's played exactly this what... tournament it's been so defensive because it started mm. like that um and then there were a couple of games in the middle where we were playing a bit more aggressively and it worked fantastically yeah yeah um but that, yeah, halfway through that game, we picked up on the same thing because I think the ball rolled, rolled over into the manager's box and Gas Southgate picked it up and we were like, "Bloody hell, he's touched it more than Harry Kane has." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think we like... were saying, we were saying, like, "Oh, he's gonna fucking go for it!" Yeah, Gareth Southgate, give him that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like, give, give him a shirt. Yeah, yeah give him a shirt. Yeah. But I was like, because the commentators were speaking quite highly of Harry Kane throughout the whole match and i was like are we watching the same game like i don't know i just was... yeah yeah and like, sterling was like i think sterling was like, sterling was on the ball for like five minutes and they didn't even mention it I swear. Yeah. yeah yeah and like I've... yeah that's it the commentators is... i just feel like they didn't give sterling his kind of like his i don't think yeah. he played his best minutes. game yesterday though he played better games i think in this tournament who's sterling yeah i mean that's from yeah, my that's point enough. of view i don't know yeah that's a but i think he was playing better than harry kane is. <laughs> well, i think it's a... yeah yeah, yeah. I think the, yeah. the problem with football generally is it's quite easy to be quite fickle. You, yeah. You just yeah. need oh, one yeah, bad definitely. game yeah, and you're yeah. like, everyone's yeah. online saying you're shit. Or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. And That's... that has been so shit to see. Um, yeah, yeah. Some of the threads you see online are just absolute toxic. Yeah. Oh, re- yeah, oh God, yeah, they must be. The worst yeah. part of football. Football, really Twitter is. and Reddit yeah. and all of that. Social media. Yeah. If you're on social media and you're blasting players, sort your life out. Yeah, 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 yeah honestly. Get over it, to be honest. Especially like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, like it's they disgusting. Don't really. yeah, I yeah. think, for me, it upsets it's... me because I can see, like, you guys are not really into football. It was really lovely yeah. when we had that football manager conversation. You go, like, oh, you've enjoyed it. I'm trying yeah, to kind yeah. of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I, really good. Yeah. I want people to see football the way I see it. It's, it can bring people together. There's so much unity. Yeah, the, qu- the question I would ask is, can you do better? In that position, which you wouldn't be able to, because they're not professional footballers. No, so no. How, how would they? Yeah, yeah. It's the, yeah. the pressure that you have in that moment. Like pre- playing at your home stadium as well in Wembley must be so stressful. Yeah, yeah. Because playing in front of the crowd that are all going, they're all de- depending on you to win, basically. Yeah. How stressful is that, man? That is, yeah. that is crazy. Yeah. And Saka's is 19 as well. Having oh him my go last yes. was... Oh, God, what, yeah. What was that's that another, decision? That's yeah. another thing. Who the hell made that decision? I know. That poor I... boy. Yeah, honestly. Like, yeah. That's going to be... I could be barely that. We, are, we are about oh, 10 years older than him, so it's fine for us to call him boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, he's a kid. You know, that yeah. that is ridiculous. That That... that He's got the pressure of making the final penalty for England. Yeah. For a Euros final. Oh my god. I couldn't imagine doing that in nineteen. No. That's crazy. I I couldn't even imagine I was just getting pissed with you guys at nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. I wasn't playing for England, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Throwing up in the bathroom, yeah. <laughs> quick quick aside, I did find out the other day the most depressing fact, and that is that Harry Kane is about one month younger than me. Yeah, he's one, one almost month almost to the day. But looks uh, like he's mid thirties. He like, does. He looks like, he's like thirty, forty. Yeah, he looks old. Bless him. He's had a hard life playing for England. Can't blame him with all the bloody clapbacks <laughs> they get. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Jesus yeah. 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 Like obviously it was like it was hard when we what lost. Um, yeah. And but. What a fucking team, though. Like, I'm so like. Yeah. We were never going to win on penalties. To be fair. You yeah. Know, it, it was always going to be we. We needed to win before the penalties, really, didn't we? Yeah. So, yeah. It was like, never going to happen. I can't believe like we've had, you know, both a, a pretty successful World Cup and a fucking Euro tournament, like one after the other. 
That's yeah, a, I'm, I'm so excited for the World Cup to... I mean, I assume we're in it, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Just to see Soviet Union beat us. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, again, I, I'm not like supremely confident that we're going to go in and just like absolutely smash it and win it. I don't no. think that's going to happen, but I am excited to see this team play again. Yeah, yeah. For the mm. chance to do it. And the fact that it's like next year now because of the. the yeah, that's weird that it's next year. Oh, yeah, yeah it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. COVID, man. Changed everything. <laughs> Fucking COVID. Fucking COVID. COVID. I think that the big thing as well, it might be confusing to the kind of we've got American listeners, we've got Dutch, we've got German. We're quite fortunate we've got these listeners from around yeah. the world. We the coming, ho- it's coming <laughs> home, isn't like we know it's coming home. Like it's a, uh, it's Badil and Skinner. They were comedy guys. Like it's yeah. almost self-deprecating. Yeah, that's so the song. weird. They were on TV yesterday, and it was just like, oh, this, I, these are comedy comedians. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. know that until then. I was like, oh, yeah. Frank Skinner, like, write this. What the hell? Like, yeah. but that's the thing. It's like we know it. It hurts, and we know what it's like to be England supporters. Yeah, so, like we don't expect yeah. to win. So the fact we made the final, I was losing my fucking mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean we all were. Yeah, it's, I was like, it's this crazy is to think. Yeah. I, I, as someone who really hates football in a way, <laughs> um, I really enjoyed watching the final. It was really good fun. Yeah, it was. It was nice to see England in in a final. Really, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just nice to support the team through yeah. through this, you know, momentous occasion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was there was definitely a moment there where, like, for for you know, not to get too political or anything, but. The country did feel like united. <laughs> oh my god! I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the tepid take. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, football! It can bring people together sometimes. Can tear <laughs> if, if we do good, yeah, it can. Yeah. <laughs> Not up here. They were they were supporting the Italians. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, hilarious yeah. though. That's fucking funny. Yeah. Bless the Scottish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like I said, like I said in a previous episode, everyone hates the British. Yeah, can you blame them? Yeah. And that's the tip of take. <laughs> that's the tip of take. <laughs> and that is it. We hope you enjoyed listening to our tepid take. If you want to send us your tepid takes, then email us at the tepid take at outlook.com. and give us a follow and a like on Instagram at the tepid take. And we've been uh, the fucking what's it called again? How did you guys feel? Like it after? Really? Oh my god, it's pissing it down! Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, obviously, like, massively disappointed. Like, it did feel like we yeah. were going to do it. I don't know, it, it really did. Um, I think and we then did really well together. You get your hopes up, and then England kind of do what England do. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. So it was just, it was just disappointment, really. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I was, um, my wife's American, and, um, I was saying to her like, my wife. <laughs> she's she still Are has you that kind of hope. Explain that to someone, by the way, because we all know that. The the audience. <laughs> I was still going. I thought we were still going anymore. <laughs> well, it felt like we were still going. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were still going. <laughs> I thought yeah. we stopped. Well, yeah. The way Alice was talking, I was like, he's got his podcast voice on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was just really like, like, no, no. my wife's I'm American. Joking. Uh, it's like what? We so guys, know. I don't know if you know this, but my, my wife's American. No, I don't. <laughs> No, I thought we'd finish. And then I've met Alyssa many times. I've known her for ten years. I think I know. Because yeah. no, I thought he was addressing me. I was like, I, I met Alyssa. I know. <laughs> Mark, you you might not know this. <laughs> yeah, she's lived here. What's it like? Twenty eleven. Um, and years. so she she still kind of has like that American hope <laughs> <laughs> that England might win. And so we'll I was get like, out of yeah. <laughs> I was like, last gone last night, I was like, gone you're, you're officially more English now because you feel yeah. the disappointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <must> lose. <laughs> and that is it. We hope you enjoyed listening to our tepid take. If you want to send us your tepid takes, then email us at the tepid take at outlook.com and give us a follow and a like on Instagram at the tepid take. And we've been uh, the fucking, what's it called again? Right, Harry, did you see that ludicrous display last night?